Hello, happy first day of quarantine, I think, is it tomorrow? Anyway, <laughs> um, I want to make a video today about, so I'm reading this book, it's called The Automatic Millionaire. Um, I don't remember when I bought it or why I bought it, but I'm reading it since I have it. And it pretty much talks about how everyone, every single person, no matter how much you make, you can make 30, 50, 100, however much money you make a year, um, you can be an automatic millionaire by pretty much, let's say you make, I think the example in the book was like 30K or let's say 50K, right? And you put away like 10% and then the company matches it into a 401k. And then by the time you retire, I think in that example, it was 50K and you put away 10% of your yearly pay, you know, just automatically into a 401k. And by the time you um, retired, you would have like 1.6 million. Cool, um, right? And granted, the more you make, the more money you would have. So whatever, it's compounding interest. It's awesome. Um, it's a magical, magical thing. But for me, that wasn't right, right? So for me, the way I look at things, so here's how I looked at it. I would go to work, let's say you go to work for a year, at my job, by the time I paid all the taxes, so that's probably like 30% taxes, um, you paid all the, all just all the garbage, <laughs> not garbage, but all the stuff that you pay for, all the stuff, all the money that gets pulled out of your check, if you look at the end of the year and calculate how much money you make, you literally, your first three to four months in the year, you work for free. Like, you just go there, to the place you probably don't even like working and you're just sitting there working for free, right? Like literally, look, look at your paycheck. Everyone's probably doing their taxes right now. Look at your W-2 statement. This is goes for W-2 people. Look at your W-2 statement. Look at how, mon, how much was taken out of the money you earned and you will see that three to four months, you literally work for free, just out of the goodness of your heart for I'm not even going to go into that. But anyway, look at it. To me, that was upsetting, right? So to me, I want to be rich now. I don't want to be rich when I'm 65 or older, right? That to me, I feel like I can enjoy money now way more than I can when I'm that old, right? So my goal, my plan is I'm going to take like the next five years and literally work my ass off, do whatever it takes to get to the goal that I've set for myself. And once I get to that goal, I'll be able to live way better than I would have if I would have stayed in that career, worked four months my whole life for another 30 years, right? So four months times like 30 years, you're working like years of your life away for free. Like that is insane, insane. Anyway, so that's my goal, work for myself, really hard for five years, reach my goal, be a millionaire and live an awesome life. So I just want to put that out there. So if you like your W2, you should probably read this book. It pretty much just tells you to put away 10 to whatever, 15%. That guy ended up putting in like 30% into his 401k. But let's say he went to retire today or in the next week. I mean, yeah, that would really suck. So also take that into account. But anyway, hope you have a great night and uh, let me know if you have any questions.